Hi, I'm Uri Mann. We're on the Uri Mann Show, and today we have an incredible guest. Lace has come and performed at Lagoon Fest. We're so excited because this is like a dream come true to have an EDM show, and you are the opening act. So what was it like to perform at Lagoon Fest? Oh, man. I was, well, first off, I was very nervous. That was, in my career, the biggest stage that I performed on. So um, it was absolutely incredible. I had so many friends that showed up, and to see them in the crowd just dancing and um to get to play the music that really speaks to my heart. I like to take people on a journey when I play music, uh, to get to see people just really holding their hands up in the air and just enjoying life is really, really why I got into this. So uh, it was truly a dream come true to play at this, so. Oh, that's great. That's so nice to hear. And so many people were smiling and dancing to your music. Yeah. And I know that the production group, Disco Donnie and Clay, they picked you as the opening act yeah. um, because you have great talent. Also, you have a, a strong following. You're a resident DJ here at Bauhaus in, in Houston. Yeah, at okay. Bauhaus. Um, and I'm also a resident at Segreto, which is like a speakeasy. So how, how many times do you perform every month? Um, well, I perform once a week at Segreto. Uh -huh. um, Bauhaus, usually weekly, sometimes a couple times a week. It just depends. But um, right now I'm kind of focused on being support for headliners, like major headliners. Um, that house is really good about letting like local talent come in and giving them a stage to like really get their careers kicked off and giving them opportunities to play with, you know, major artists. So right they're That's where I'm focused at right now. Well, that's fantastic. The um, can you tell me, like, how did you get into being a DJ in house music and what what inspired you or who who did you see perform and said, hey, I want to I want to do that? Uh, well, you'd have to go back to when I was probably like three years old. I was it. I grew up in Wyoming. Okay. So house music, no one listened to house music in Wyoming. Right. I really hadn't even heard of house music until like the last few years. Um, but when I go to weddings, um, I would always see the DJ there. Like, and everyone was dancing and I love music. I love music. Right. So I was like, when I grow up, I want to be a DJ. I wanted to be a wedding DJ. <laughs> <laughs> when did you start being a DJ? When was the first time? Uh, I booked my, f I started a little over a year ago. Okay. So this is a new thing for you. Very. And yeah. you're like taking off. I mean, you're I put a lot of time into it. Everyone's talking about how talented you are. You're, you're not just beautiful, but you're also incredibly talented. Um, well, I would say I was an aux cord DJ my entire life. Okay. So, you know, at parties and in the car, I always controlled the music and right. really road trips. Road trips, definitely. I would create the playlist back in the day. I'm probably going to age myself here, but I would record mixtapes off the radio. Okay. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then we would get, we got to burn CDs, so I would just spend all my time burning CDs for people. For your boyfriend? Uh, no, I'm, I don't know. Are you, are, you, are you dating anyone now? No. Oh, okay, you're single? I am single. So if people want to find you and they're, <laughs> they want to, like, contact you, where do they go, to Instagram or Snap? Yeah, uh, Instagram, what? and I do, I do try and stay on top of my Instagram. What is your Instagram? It's spell lace, S-P-E-L-L-L-A-C-E. -L 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 -E. So like people are put under a spell by lace? Exactly. But okay. also when you spell lace, house music is a four count. So right. L-A-C-E-L-A-C-E. -L -A -E. So it's okay. kind of multidimensional. That's great. So who actually inspires you the most? If you look at other artists that are today performing or have performed in the past, which, which, who are your favorite artists? My favorite artists? Uh, oh. Today you're opening for Cascade, but you can't use that yes, one. Yes, no, yeah. actually my ex, I was married. Um, oh, you're married, I have okay. three kids. Oh. I was married. Uh -huh. um, my ex-husband loves Cascade, and he's, he and I are still friends. We have three children together, so um, when I told him I was going to get this, like every year for Christmas, sorry, I'm veering off of what you asked me to say, but yeah. uh, every year for Christmas, he would play the Cascade Christmas album, and, you know, when I started doing this, everyone thought it was crazy. They're like, okay, Lace has some crazy dream, because I was... I worked in oil and gas for 14 years before this. Mm -hmm. um, but to see me getting these opportunities, um, I would say that I've had a lot of, a lot of influences in my life. Um, from the DJ woman standpoint, the first female DJ I saw perform was LPGOB. Um, and I saw her when I was in Aspen. And there was a couple of girls that convinced us to come see her. They said she's about to explode on the scene. And they're absolutely right. Like LPGOB is huge now. Um, I've got to play alongside a lot of artists. Uh, Cora Loba, uh -huh. I take a lot of inspiration from her. Um, from the DJing side, Blondish, I saw her perform at Bauhaus. Absolutely incredible. I, I say she's my northern sister. Right. So those are a few of my at least female um, DJs. I, I'm a huge John Summit fan. Okay. I have been since he first started releasing music. He's probably the reason I got into like EDM and house music. So. <laughs> okay, John Summit. So if you're out there, he was the inspiration. 
He was. I I flew down to Miami twice to go see him at space. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. So going forward, what do you think the next steps are for you in terms of your, your music at Bauhaus? What's the next step? Where do you want to, are you going to do a, a tour? Around? Yeah, I really, um, kind of this fall, I want to focus on producing. I'm playing Freaky Deaky in October. Oh, cool. Uh, so I have some music. That's a big deal, yeah. Huge deal, huge yeah. deal. So to play my, uh, my, let me focus back on what you'd asked me. Uh, from here, I really want to focus on producing my own music. Mm -hmm. um, I have some some music that I'm working on right now. Uh, I haven't released anything yet. Um, but I'd like to have kind of a little bit of an arsenal before I start releasing. Um, and then just continue to have these opportunities, like the bigger, sh the bigger shows that you get, the bigger stages. They're all very different from when you play in like a small club to these type of events. So right. just um, focusing on more of these impactful events to my career um just seeing just seeing where it goes from there okay well lace four thousand people came to the to see you today <laughs> and we're really excited that we had the honor to have you on stage opening for cascade yeah. and incredibly talented super beautiful oh. thank you for coming to lagoon fest texas yes. and thanks for being on the early man show absolutely thank you for having me great